Title IX is all about fairness and equality. Well, softball players at Viewmont High School don't feel like that benchmark is being met. Frustrated, they decided it was time to get Gephardt, and Matt has been investigating. Mike Denny, Davis school district officials have promised to do better for these young women. But have they? The Viewmont High School boys' baseball field looks pretty good. Brand new press box, brand new covered dugout, new infield, lush green grass. Now, compare that to the girls' softball field. There's a huge comparison and discrepancy in between the two. That's Mike Embry, a former assistant coach and current dad to one of the softball players. He says, look around, exposed dugout, a bullpen overgrown with weeds, and on the field, dead and patchy grass that has led to more than a few rolled ankles and errant ground balls. Yeah! The conditions are so bad that one of Viewmont's home games had to be played away this season, Mike says. It's not fair to these girls. They deserve better. More than two years ago, Mike, along with other parents, asked the Davis School District for improvements. When those complaints didn't go anywhere, they made it official. Mike filed this Title IX complaint with the Office of Civil Rights. That got everyone's attention. The district responded with a list of improvements that would be made and with timelines. For example, before the start of this past season, the girls were promised sprinklers, enclosed dugouts, new bullpens, a covered batting cage, and a new backstop to prevent balls from hitting cars. These are things that should have been done before this season. That's by what they've written to us. But very little of that has been completed. Worse, when they call school officials to ask about it. Can't get answers. No. Which is why we've reached out to you. This high schools. We first turn to Norma Carr, a lifelong advocate for women's equality in sports. She says that in 50 years, Title IX has helped get closer to that goal, but there is still a ways to go as evidenced by the Viewmont girls softball field. If I'm a person looking for equality and I looked at the baseball field that I've provided the baseball, that softball field would peril in a lot of respects. The outfield is a sham. Carr says it's not just the turf. Why is it okay for softball to have just a cover with chain link fence dugouts? Carr believes that Mike and other parents are wise to keep pushing. It's time to fight. They're hoping you're gonna go away. Since the very beginning of softball season, we have been reaching out to Davis School District officials, asking them to comment on this. We were repeatedly told they can't, they won't, until after they hear back from the Title IX investigators. Well, we're now at the very end of softball season, so we told them we're going to put the story on TV whether you comment or not. They've decided to comment. Is this equality? Of course not, no. No. Chris Williams speaks for Davis School District. Uh, the district made a bunch of promises for things that would get done. Many of those things did not get done under deadline. What gives? First off, I want to say this field is not what we ever envisioned would happen. Uh, this, this is a s situation that we would never want anyone to play on. Uh, we're making progress. Indeed, sprinklers are finally going in, and Williams says it will be a whole new outfield by next season. Why wasn't it done last playing season or two playing seasons ago when the complaint first came to you guys? That is a good question. There were lots of mistakes made, no doubt about it. The biggest mistake, Williams says, was watering too little during last summer's drought, which killed the field. What do you say to the girls who are graduating out who feel like they've been treated as less than the boys throughout their careers here? All I can say is thank you for your patience. So the grass is getting a makeover, but there are still a lot of other things that the district has said it would get done that have not gotten done. The district tells us they are working on it. In the meantime, we reached out to the Civil Rights Office to ask if they plan on doing any sort of enforcement here. We were told they are investigating. Guys? Yeah, working on it is such a blanket statement, though. Would they give any details at all, Matt? We, we pressed them a little bit. They said there are some things that they're working out with regards to, like, boxing in the dugouts. How much would that maybe obscure some of the views, things like that? Uh, and they said they have made some progress on things like they, they did put in a portable where the girls can now store some of their equipment and things like that, but uh, still a long way to go from what was promised to them two years ago. Yeah, I hope yeah. we don't have to have this conversation again after next We'll keep following that. Yeah. 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 We'll keep following it. Thanks, Matt.